Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. And for those of you that are new here, hey, my name is Tenna and welcome to my circus. Today's video, I'm gonna sit down, slow it down a bit. I feel like I've done a ton of reviews lately and I haven't really focused on like my own routine and all those things and like what am I using today. So today's video is basically going to be me going through doing a full face of all of my current favorite products just to see what I'm currently using and what I grab for when I do my makeup every day. So if this is something that you are interested in seeing, go ahead and stick around. If you have not yet subscribed to my channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below. Otherwise, we will go ahead and hop right on in to the video. Oof, I had to turn that light down. It was like way too bright and like everything is like really dark and like black back here, I feel like. Um, but anyways, it's been a while. How have you guys been? I've been busy. Work is taking over my entire life, which is why I have not been posting as frequently, but I will get back. To posting frequently again I'm very sorry um, but let's go ahead and jump into it I'm getting ready to go to a holiday Friendsgiving type deal right now and I want to do a full beat so we're gonna go through and use all of my favorite things so to start things off I want to go ahead and prep the skin um, right now going into winter things like that my skin is extremely dry right now like it needs all the help that it can get I need all the moistures like all the moistures I'm gonna go ahead and pin my hair back out of my face so that we can focus on the face. So first things up, um, I have this coconut rose toner by Kopari. It's like a coconut oil rose toner. I like it, it's extremely hydrating and I put this on my face after I cleanse and moisturize and it kind of just gives me that little extra added um, moisture to my face that I need because I am just dry, I am dry, I am dry. So we'll take a little bit of this, we're gonna go ahead and spray it all over the face. And then just kind of let that sit in and just get all nice and you can like feel how moisturizing it is like it definitely feels like there's like an oil in it and my skin just drinks this up it smells so good coconut rose is such like a weird combination of um of a uh, scents but it actually smells really really good dry off the face also i made this isn't it cute i know all right, so next what I want to do is prime the face. Normally I don't like using primers, but I have found one that I really love that keeps me moisturized. It's tacky, it keeps my foundation on my face, which you guys may have seen this around. It is the Milk Makeup Hydro Grip Primer. Um, and it's this nice like gel, kind of aloe vera-y type of, uh, uh, you know, base primer for your face. So you'll, all I use is one little pump. Um, and that usually takes care of my whole face. So it comes out kind of like a little gel like that. So it's kind of an interesting consistency and you can see how tacky sticky it is there. So I take that um, and just put it all over the face. It's very thick and like creamy, but like it leaves like a serious tack on the face. Um, the next thing that I like to use, just kind of as like a prep primer, like this might be super gimmicky, but I feel like it works, which is the Too Faced Lip Injection Extreme. It's like a lip gloss type of thing, but it has like this like crazy plumping effect to the lips. And granted, my lips don't really need any help at all. If anything, I have like that uh, weird thing where it's like, I don't wish they were bigger, but I almost wish that like they were a little bit fuller, if that makes sense. When people say they want to get in like lip injections to get rid of like the lines in their lipstick, if that makes sense. So I have that issue and I feel like that this right here like helps plump up the lips quite a bit so I'll just take some of this I put it on my lips and I just let that sit the entire time that I'm going through and doing my whole makeup routine and then by the time I want to put lipstick on I've got nice fluffy lips and by the way I feel like there's different sensitivity levels to this it's fine for me it does start to burn but like not anything that I would consider like 911 emergency type of burn but I have heard with some people that this is like a really intense burn for them so just so you know there is some discomfort with using this stuff um, next thing that I like to do is my foundation so um, this is not a new foundation by any means but it's been new for me trying it out which is the Giorgio Armani luminous silk foundation I I love this. If you have dry skin and you don't mind paying a pretty penny for a foundation, I love this stuff. Which like, hello, there is there is blood on the little, little thing right there if you can see that. Thank you Halloween, I have fake blood on everything that I own right now. So I'm gonna go ahead and take some of this, we're gonna pump it onto the hand, bounce it all over the face, get a nice smooth texture on the skin. I'm gonna go with my beauty blender, as always. So 
I really like this foundation. It's got like a great um, buildable coverage, um, but it goes on and leaves this nice like dewy, luminous effect to the skin, which hello, dry skin unite. We all know that we want our skin to look nice and dewy and healthy because when you have dry skin, it tends to look dull and dry and the complete opposite and ages you more. So we want that, we want that healthy skin. So if you can kind of see on this side, you can see how luminous it is compared to the other side. Right now I'm doing kind of more of like a light to medium coverage. Um, I'm not a huge fan of like full, full coverage foundation, but this is definitely buildable to full coverage. I've done it before, so um, obviously have to use more product, but is what it is. Um, another favorite, which I've used here for a really long time, I go back and forth between um, the Too Faced Born This Way as well as the Giorgio Armani right now. I am in the color Caramel, um, and the when it gets deep, deep winter, I go um, to the color Honey. That becomes my new foundation shade. Oh, it's probably helpful if I tell you guys what foundation shade I'm in in this. I am an 8.75. That is my foundation color in the Giorgio Armani foundation. You can get it online at Sephora. They don't carry it in store. Well, at least by me they don't, which I think is kind of weird. Um, but you can also get it inside of Nordstrom um, in their beauty area. So you got options if you're trying to go to a mall and all those different things, but yes. We've got a great shade range and I think that it just works flawlessly with the skin. Before you guys come for me, yes, in the monitor it looks like my foundation's darker than my skin tone. Yes, it might be like a shade um, darker than I would like it because this was my summer shade and us mixed folks, we like to go through our metamorphosis, metamorphosis, metamorphosis in the winter time where we go 10 shades lighter. Trust me, the amount of foundation that I have for each point of the year is absolutely ridiculous. It would blow your mind. All right, next thing up is I want to go in and do concealer. Um, still using the Jeffree Star um, Magic Star Concealer. Um, definitely, it's definitely lighter. I want to go back and get like a deeper color and it's just hard to do because I feel like the color I want is always sold out. But it's fine. One day. One day I'll get it. So I'm just going to go in and conceal the under eye here. Go ahead and bounce this in to the skin. Conceal these dark circles because your girl is tired. Uh, I love the holidays, but I hate all the socializing that comes with it. Um, I'm such an introvert and I'm always like, um, I get so burnt out and spent hanging out around large groups of people, especially like back to back to back over and over and over again. So like I had a holiday party last night, I have one today. I feel like I have like some type of like social obligation every weekend through Christmas and it just stresses me out because like I have such like a, I don't want to say stressful job. Yeah, I do have a stressful job. Um, I work in a human resources of all things and I mean, I feel like my day is, you know, it's got its challenges. I love my job for sure, but man, if it doesn't kick your ass every week. So on the weekends, I just like to be away from people because that's my job is people. So. You know, it's helpful to take a break, but when you have to go on the weekend and like hang out with more people, my God, it just, it's draining, but it's fine. It's fine. We're all fine. So as you guys can kind of see, my lips are plumping up just a little bit. Mm -hmm. So it works. I think it works. I don't know. Maybe it's just me. Maybe I think that they plump my lips really well and maybe they don't. I don't know. I'm going to go in and conceal a little bit more. My dark circles are just popping today. I'm tired. I feel like there's so many people that are trying to do this whole beauty YouTube thing, which is fine. I mean, I think that I even came in a little bit late to the game, but I feel like so many things have been done and like, like, you know, like, what do you guys want to see? Do you guys still like seeing like tutorials? Cause I feel like you can Google like 57 different tutorials on how to like, you know, do everything basically. Like there's nothing new to teach or like product reviews, I feel like product reviews are always gonna be like nice because people, you know, people wanna know what products are like before they buy them and things like that. Um, I've kind of thought about like putting together, um, you know, like story time makeup things. Like not like story time, but like if you've been on my channel for a while, you know I love Halloween, you know I love true crime, things like that. And I thought about doing like true crime Tuesdays or like murder Mondays and like I can cover a different serial killer while I do my makeup, which I think would be fun because like, we all love true crime deep down. Don't lie to yourself, you love it. 
Um, so now that we have put all the concealer on, I'm gonna grab my tried and true, nothing new here, my Laura Mercier setting power powder in the shade Translucent. Um, I have yet to find a setting powder better than this, so until that happens, I'm gonna just keep using it. So I'm gonna go in, set my under eyes, um, all that kind of good stuff. Just go in and powder everything. Looking crazy. Um, so I'm gonna let this set for a little bit and while it sets, I'm gonna go ahead and do my eyebrows. Fun fact, since I've like kind of slowed down on um, doing my filming, I actually went and got my eyebrows microbladed, which like 10 out of 10, highly recommend. Always look for a good person that does it because I swear to God, not everybody that does microblading is good at it. Matter of fact, 99% of most microblading that I see is trash and whatever, come for me if you want to, but it looks terrible. But the girl that I found is amazeballs. Like she's, oh. They're so good. I'll zoom in so you guys can kind of see what they look like up close because this is my eyebrows right now with no product in them. Um, and if you've been here before, you knew that I had very like sparse eyebrows, like nothing here in the front. I never had tails, anything like that, and now I do. So these are my new eyebrows. Um, if I can just kind of get some of the product out of there. But yeah, if I were to like go down and like show you guys like that, you can see the line work that was done. So you can see like what's my real hair and like what's it not. Kinda nifty, right? Yeah, look at that. Craziness. So, I don't spend as much time on my eyebrows anymore. Which is nice. So, what I have been using for just like my everyday, like not full glam type situation, um, I have been going in with I've been going in with this guy right here, the Benefit Goof Proof Brow Pencil. So this is what I've been using. And I like it a lot. Um, this is basically what the tip of it looks like, but you can roll it up and it's got this nice sharp kind of little end on here and you can make little um, brush strokes and um, it's light and natural enough that I don't get this like bold brow, but we're going full glam today. So I need a little bit of a bolder brow. Um, you know, the microblading works for like every day. Like I have eyebrows now and it's nice, but it doesn't, I feel, replace that like bold eyebrow look that you're trying to do like a full glam with. So I'm gonna go in with the Kat Von D Dark Brown, her super brow. Um, God, I don't really like her all that much anymore just because of recent things in the news, but she's got a damn good brow product and I'm gonna keep using it because uh, it lasts a lot longer than the um, ABH Dip Brow. It's not as wet as the Dip Brow and I just work with it a little bit better, which is fine. So um, we're just gonna go in and we're gonna tackle these brows. having microbladed brows though I feel like most of the work is already done for you like they're already mapped out shaped out and you don't have to use as much product you just go in and like go to town and just build out your brows so yeah if you see the difference there's not like a huge difference just a little bit bolder just because when I go full glam I do like bold eyeshadows things like that bold liners so um, my eyebrows tend to get lost if I don't do a bold brow to match the rest of my bold makeup Next, I'm gonna go ahead and just dust all this off. All right, next I'm gonna go through, um, I'm gonna do some bronzing to the face. I've got two different ones that I like to hop back and forth between right now, um, which is the Hula Caramel, which they finally came out with a freaking bronzer dark enough for people that aren't like 50 shades of pale. No offense to anybody that's pale, I'm just saying. Y'all were the only ones that were able to use that damn hula bronzer. But anyways, they have the hula caramel now, which works really well. And they also have the hula toasted, which is even deeper. Um, and then I also um, like butter bronzer has been one of my favorite drugstore favorites. However, they also extended their range line. Um, before they did, the deepest that they had was what their deep freaking um, 
shade, which was like not deep at all. It was literally like my skin color. So now we've got two different ones. We've got one that is that's called Endless Summer, and then we have one that's a sculpting bronzer. So that's what they look like right here. You can see this one's a little bit darker. I'm actually gonna go in and use the sculpting bronzer, and then this is just for like that all over. I just kind of use them both interchangeably, and I love how they smell. Oh, they smell like summer, and it's like just rubbing summer on your face like at all times. Just I love it. Anyways, I'm gonna go in with a huge bronzer brush. We're gonna go ahead and dip into there and we are just gonna start cutting up the face and bronzing the things. So I have found with the holidays and it being cold outside, I am starting to like blush a little bit a little bit. I hate it, but it's been working a little bit. So I'm actually going to go in with the Natasha Denona palette. Um, it is their Bloom Blush and Glow palette. Um, so basically you get a couple blushes and a couple highlighters in there. And I go in with this really deep, deep one, if I can open this up here. It's like a cream blush. Um, it looks really deep in the pan, but I swear it goes on really well. And it works really well for like all skin colors. I'm telling you, it looks dark, but it works. So I'm going to go in with a nice little blush, blush brush. Say that ten times. Blush, 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 brush. Anyway, I'm going to go in, I'm going to dip in there a couple times, and I'm just going to go ahead and kind of sneak it in with the bronzer a little bit and add a little bit of a rosy cheek. So anyways, yeah, I'm kind of wearing blush now. It's a little weird for me, but whatever, it works. I'm going to go in and do the eyes right now. Um, if you have been living under a rock and have not seen the most recent release by Jeffree Star and Shane Dawson, which is a conspiracy palette, um, it's one of my favorite palettes to reach for right now. I feel like we've got some pretty cool colors in here where we can go neutral, we can go crazy, we can do lots of stuff with this palette and I'm here for it. So I'm going to go in and just do a quick little eye look, something a little dramatic, something a little cute, something a little, I don't know. So I'm first going to go in with the color Diet Root Beer, which is a nice um, kind of a brown shade. I'm actually going to stick to most of the colors up here on the top is what I'm going to do. So I'm going to keep it neutral. No crazy pops of color. I'm kind of going for this like mortuary funeral look for all of my holiday looks this year because I like the color black. So I'm going to go in and just kind of put this in my crease and just kind of blow it out just so that we have a nice little transition shade. You know what? I think I lied. I think I want to play with the burgundy shade in here, because I can. Alright, so I'm going to take the color Not A Fact, which is this bright freaking, not bright, but it's like a deep burgundy. So I'm going to take that, and I'm going to pack that into my outer corner, and I'm also going to put it into my crease. So it look, it's looking a little harsh right now, I know. So I'm gonna take a little bit of a small um, blender brush. I'm gonna go into the shade Flaming Hot, which is that bright red. I'm just gonna take a little bit and I'm gonna use that to start blending out um, this deep purple. taking a little bit of the shade pigment which is a nice um, bright pigment color and using that to blend out even more I'm gonna go in and cut the crease really quick I'm gonna go in with my P Louise base and shade rumor number five I love this stuff is my favorite stuff to cut out the crease I used to use the Mac um, uh, paint pot quite a bit but ever since I have discovered this stuff, oh my god, it just goes on so smooth and it's so opaque and you don't really have to like build it up, it just like builds itself up. It's amazing. <sighs> So my crease is all nice and cut out. I'm going to go in with the shade Just a Theory as well as the shade Ranch. So these two colors here, here's Ranch which is this bright white and then Just a Theory right here. And I'm going to ombre those and just lay them down on the lip there. So 
I went ahead and packed a ranch all on there. I'm gonna go back in with that um, same brush and that um, deep purple again. And I'm gonna go ahead and just pack that back in to here and just kind of blend it in. Just kind of get rid of that harshness in there. I'm also going to get a little bit sassy. I'm going to take a little bit of my rightus here, which is just a straight up black, and I'm just going to blend a little bit of that into this outer corner just to add a little bit more of dimension here. Add a little bit of that darkness on the outer corner. This is like getting way more glam than I thought. I was going to go like a, like a sparkly neutral color, but here we are. I can just never simmer my makeup down ever. It just doesn't happen. All right, next I'm gonna take a little bit of my right is here. Again, that black and just kind of dust it along this lower lash line here. Just kind of pack it in really thin along the lash line. And then I'm gonna go back in with that same brush, take up some of that purple, and then I'm gonna blend these out together down here. go in with a little bit of pigment which is that cute pink color and then wash that out down here I'm taking a little bit more ranch and just putting that into that inner corner all right so we're almost done I'm gonna pause on the face really quick because this is where I like to actually set my face um, because I don't like setting my face and then putting on mascara or putting on mascara first because I feel like it melts I don't like that. So I'm gonna take a little bit of my tried and true the Morphe um, prep and set. I'm gonna go ahead and just do that. I like to take my beauty blender and push it into the skin because it helps to get rid of any um, of that dust created by all of that powder we just used on our face so that we're not looking dusty and it brings back that luminosity to the skin. And then we're gonna go ahead and fan out our face once more. While the face is still a little bit damp, this is actually where I like to go in and highlight. Um, to this day, I have yet to find a highlighter that I like more than the Jeffree Star Brain Freeze. I swear this is not like a Jeffree Star like, like tag, like use all the Jeffree Star things. He just has really good products and honestly, I have a hard time finding things that are just as good. So I'm gonna go into the shade Cocky, which is this color here, um, which is a nice color for caramel skin tones. I'm gonna go in put her down here on the face so I'm gonna go in with my tried and true I love like the felt tip liners it's not everybody's tea but I freaking love the benefit roller liner this is like the best thing they ever made I don't necessarily like the roller lash mascara but this liner I don't know how long I've had it but it still hasn't dried out yet so it's still going and it's dark so I'm gonna go in and do a nice wing I feel like it's the wing that really ties it all together because I swear and this is why I do my brows I'm telling you guys I do my brows because it gets lost in the liner all right, next I'm gonna prep my lashes. My favorite lashes right now are by um, Lily Lashes. It's the Lux one. Um, they're so pretty, look at these. Mm -hmm. Pretty, right? So I'm gonna go ahead and prep those and throw on some mascara. Right now I'm using the Urban Decay Troublemaker. Um, if you guys remember this one, this one like shook the internet because it was like sex proof and like all these different things. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that really quick and then I'll be right back. All right, we have lashes on and we're starting to look almost done. Actually, we are almost done. So I went ahead and wiped off most of that gloss. I'm gonna go in with a nude lip because our eye look is so intense. You, I would not recommend putting any type of colored um, lipstick on. So I'm gonna go in with the shade Thick as Thieves from the Jeffree Star um, lip collection. I'm gonna go in with that. By the way, I know it's really hard to find good nudes for like caramel skin. This is it. 
and boom makeup is complete spend some time and just do a little bit of makeup with you guys and um, you know I missed hanging out with you guys I miss doing makeup with you and um, doing things other than reviews so I'm gonna be working on some more fun stuff I'll be doing more special effects cool things like that because um, that's what I love doing otherwise um, that is it you guys thanks for hanging out with me today and I will see you in my next video bye